Hi. So we're going to make a shower sliding door. And as you can see, the first step is this. Everything always has to be flush with the wall. And this is in the way. This thing down here is in the way. This frame. And over here on this side too. So we're going to have to start by getting rid of all of that stuff and making it flush. Just basically getting rid of it. Just getting rid of it all. And starting making sure everything is flat. We're going to have to saw over here. Make sure to always use protective gloves and uh, protective eyewear and things like that. It's pretty dangerous. Okay, so anyway, uh, so now we're just gonna smash it up over here and then take it all out from there. It just sort of comes out like that. Okay, two tiles came out during the work. That's okay. I'm gonna smooth that out there with a thin layer thin set. I'm also gonna put some thin set in the big, big cracks and in the hole. And that's it. Okay, once you apply that thin set to uh, Make it very smooth. Um, smooth. So yeah, I broke some tiles. I had to, you know, to replace that. Then let it put the apply the thin set and let it dry for a day. There's lines on the instrument there. So just put that in there. And then you just apply, can you see that, to the surface of the tile, the back of the tile, and apply the tiles directly to the wall. There's space for grouting, but we could use these spacers, but that's that's it. This is the point here where everything that's difficult is done. All you have to do now, oh, you can see I put the, some space bars in there. That's just for size. So this will rest and settle for 24 hours. And then we'll add the grout. 
Hello, and today is the next day. Uh, already the inset has pretty much hardened. Looks kind of hard to me. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me get rid of some of that. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, it's pretty hard. Wait, just, right now I'm just getting rid of some of the excess cement. Yeah. In there. We'll get that later. So. set and apply it. Okay. It's um, a little dark right now, but that's because it's wet. It will dry a little bit lighter. They uh, they show the type of thin set, the color on the packaging, whether you pre-mix it or get pre-mixed or, or mix it yourself, they'll, they'll show you the color on the packaging. Okay, and you just stick it in to all the cracks, and that's basically all you have to do. And then after you get into all the cracks, you'll take a sponge and Pull up the rest that's on the, this part right here. Okay, so now we have all the grout on and now we have the unfortunate task of having to clean it all up. We'll just use a sponge and some water and scrape away at it. It's not an easy job. That's not fun. But you have to do it until it, if, because if it hardens, it's almost impossible to take off. So. Now you see it's already starting to come off. We just cleaned up the grout, and I'll have to tell you, that's probably one of the hardest jobs. Uh, it's sort of like cleaning, just imagine cleaning mud. Uh, but you have to get it very, very, very smooth and clean. And it's going to be nice. Well, I, I covered it with tape because I had to, over here, I had to saw a little bit. And I didn't want to get this sawdust on the tape, on the uh, grout, on the new grout. So anyway, now we're putting it in the shower. I think that's just real simple. So I just taped it up. 